How bad is it for me to see past these superior comments come in? Give up on your dreams. Like there's more to this video that nobody like me would have any impact on. Gotham. Good morning, my gorgeous Viking trinket, trinklet of Gotham. Uh, I just spent the last like 15 minutes in the shower talking to myself, thinking through it. Admittedly, I don't know if this will make sense, but here we go. Since growing over half a million on TikTok, oh, nice brag, Oliver. Not what I meant. I've gone from making content where I'm I'm constantly, I was constantly trying to slide in things to impress people. And the whole, a, a lot of it was about trying to impress. To now being in a place that, I feel like I'm in my own little world. Now, where I don't care about what people think. Now, what I mean by, <laughs> what I mean by that is, or well, let me clarify, what is in my pre-workout? I just like, when that hits, my mind is just like, it's on one, it's like, there's Adderall plus cocaine plus NZT, whatever it was called, 49 in my Adderall. And I lost my thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open to criticism. Constructive and uh, any other type of criticism. So I'm open to constantly trying to improve and seeing where I'm making mistakes and what I could do to improve them. But I, in my head, right, doesn't mean that I'm right, but in my head, I think I have a really good understanding of who I want to be and how I want to do things. Now, th like, there are jokes I'll make or things I'll say or things I'll do in my videos in the TikToks that there's still a part of me that looks at and thinks, oh my God, I can't believe you've done that. You're 32 years old and you've done that. That's what you've done. Like using a Spider-Man hooded towel in a video. And then I have to very quickly, or I, I don't know if I have to, but I very quickly realize who cares? Why, why do I feel that it is unacceptable to wear a Spider-Man hooded towel? Uh, oh gosh, uh, because, because of the expectation in society, right? That at 32 years old, I'm, I shouldn't be doing that. But to me, I guess I'm like, to me, everything is a decision, a weighing up of this versus that. So I'm weighing up, how bad is it for me to use that towel versus what is the reason for me using that towel? The reason is, is that it's something to help the piece of content do better. Like something for people to, I wouldn't say latch onto, but something for people to think that's funny or weird in the video. Essentially, it's like, imagine you're in a corporate world and you're doing a spreadsheet. You're making a spreadsheet for someone. You could just enter in all the fields manually, or you could set up the spreadsheet so that uh, all the fields are automated to load in different answers. Now, one option gets the, they both get the job done, but one option is superior to the other, right? So if I'm making a video, why wouldn't I put in the extra effort to do the things that I also think are funny that may get more of a reaction from people and it's no detriment to the person watching? I think essentially I'm just trying to get across that I've started to not, I've gotten myself into a place where I, a lot of other people's opinions are irrelevant to the way I want to live my life. I think that's a, I really do think that's a very good thing. Now there are parts where I'm obviously still learning that I should care about what other people think. Like let's say for example, uh, this is a bad example putting my shopping trolley, my cart back when I go shopping. There's no benefit to me of doing that, but it's a moral, it's morally right to do that. 
I also often find myself, oh gosh, this is going to be a br stupid thing to say. Like I might, it's not often, but like if the opportunity's there, I'll help the cart guy like put trolleys together or something. Like, I shouldn't even have said that because it's, oh, wow, you're such a good human, Oliver. All right, I'll, maybe I'll table this topic. I think where I'm at is a good thing. <laughs> also, my nose. This is a, this is, there's only a slight pivot. My nose, the zits in my nose from waxing it the other day are just running rampant. They are violent. All right, we've got some good things to do and I have this, this mental idea that I think is really cool. So for camera stuff, I'll show you it when I get home because I need the camera base. Okay, here's what's really annoying about this every morning. So, because it's cold, this thing falls off the window, right? So it's a suction cup mount, so I have to connect it back to the window. <clears throat> so, this is how, every morning when I finish at the gym, this is my situation, right? So I, I set up uh, the mic on top of the camera, lean over, undo this after I've stuck that back on. Attach this on here. Put this over here. And then I have to make sure the position is right because it's fallen off the window. And then I can film. So then when I get home, And I'll pull it off because I know it's going to fall off. I would like to keep the, the plate, the quick release plate, just on here at all times, but you can't because this needs to open. And you can see it goes over the top of the screw. There really isn't any solution out there that I've seen that solves for this issue. You have to take the plate off every time you wanna change the battery or the memory card. Super annoying. But I had this thought, what if, what's in my ass? AirPods. <laughs> I've had much bigger things in my ass. That's one of those things I'm saying that I was just talking about where I, I probably shouldn't say, but I'm okay with saying, right? Anyway. If you get a screw that screws into here, but that is extremely magnetic, and then you have a plate that sits on your like tripod head or whatever, that just snaps on. So the screw that's magnetic fits in here and still allows whatever door this is to fit over the top each time. Now there are two issues I have. One, I don't know if there's a magnet that's strong enough considering this is so small. And then also, I don't know if a magnet that's that strong uh, would interfere with the memory card, the camera sensor, and all the kind of stuff inside of it. I have no idea. I Maybe I would have to Google it. Maybe I would have to talk to someone who is a pro. Maybe I would have to chat GPT it. Because I don't know if I feel like doing a trial and error. <laughs> but it would only, this kind of solution would only work, depending on the strength of a magnet, would only work for a small camera. Something like this or a um, phone or an action camera. But I really like that idea. Hope you do too. <laughs> I'm fully aware that I'm wearing the exact same thing from yesterday. The only difference is that I've, I've got a t-shirt today. I forgot to take a t-shirt to the gym yesterday. All right, I was just watching Casey Neistat's untold story with the Diary of a CEO. Two thoughts, all right, right? All right, right. One is, maybe we'll just watch it together because I'll be thinking about it as I go through from one perspective of, you know, what does he have to say? Because I used to love his content. 
and then also um, how do I turn these into clips? <laughs> All right. The other thing is I wanted to show you something that I think is very interesting. And in a few years, if this if this gets to where I think it will go, like where we're manifesting, where I'm trying to get it to go, we'll look back at this and you'll be like, oh my goodness. When someone starts making content, you get all the people who tell you you're rubbish, that this is no good, that you should stop, you should give up. And so I'm going to go to the three YouTube accounts. I've noticed some comments come in and I'm going to talk you through some of the comments. And I want to think about this from the perspective of listen to these comments now as I'm a nobody on, like as I'm irrelevant on like the YouTube platform, let's say, which is true. Like, I don't see that as like being mean. And then in a few years, if we get to where we think we're trying to go, let's have another look at the types of comments you get, like where you have a level of, uh, or let's say authoritative power, just how differently people see you. And this is more of a message to like, if you're trying to get somewhere, if you're trying to make strides, ignore the people who are trying to tear you down, ignore them, get rid of them. They do not matter in your life. Like, and I mean that, like literally they do not matter. Give up on your dreams. Dog, what are you on about? Get off my feed. There's not many comments, but just <laughs> the sentiment. Let's try this other channel. This one went up by like 10 or more subs last night. Comments. Uh, so on a clip where I had just Kai Sanat over the top of my intro for the video, so just pretending someone famous cares enough to react to you, question mark. Yeah, like you imagine if I'm a big if I'm a big creator established, that comment doesn't come in. Uh, this guy, I shout angry because I want attention. Ha, some people are insane. Yeah, you so you get the sentiment of these comments, right? If we get where we're trying to go, like where where I already am on TikTok, I guess it's quite convoluted because I can, I can see an interpretation of what I'm saying being, Oliver, you're doing this because you want to be someone who's, rele who's relevant. No, it's not, it really isn't. I just like, I like doing what I'm doing now. And I'm bringing this up because it'll be interesting. You get the idea. It'll be interesting to see how these comments change from being, who the hell are you? Stop it. Like you're useless um, to supportive. And it's, yeah, I, I mean this as a, I want you to, if you're trying to get somewhere, I want you to see this and think, to see past these disgusting things. Cool. Do you wanna watch the Casey Neistat video together? I don't know if it'll copy, get copyrighted, but uh, let's slip over there and watch it. I, it's currently Monday and like there's more to this video that you're watching right now, but I, I was just about, like the video that you were gonna see next was me watching the uh, Diary of a CEO podcast that was with Casey Neistat and I filmed this section on Friday where I watched it and then kind of like shared my thoughts. But I also had this like weird psycho analysis that was like merged in with it. I don't really know. It was like my opinion on Casey and his life from what I've seen in the videos. And I was very open about it being my experience of him in from, from the portrayal in his videos, and that may not be his real character. But I thought, I'm not gonna include it because I think that's super weird. Like now that I look back at it, I think this is just a guy who's made stuff online and I'm, I've created this impression. I wonder if, like, let's just say, this 
bumbling my way through this. A character like Casey, again, psychoanalyzing, seems like a really strong mental character. So I can't imagine that a nobody like me would have any impact on how he thinks about himself and his family and the things that he does, which is great, fantastic. But what if I was okay doing it this time for someone like Casey because he's a strong, but then somewhere down the line, I have, like I do the same type of thing, but the person isn't as strong-minded. I've just thrown, so and, and they happen to see it. I've thrown something into the mix that is like a completely wild perspective just on their internet personality persona. And what if they're not as strong-willed and take that in some sort of way? And it's strange because I, I would like the idea of just sharing my thoughts and my perception of it. But when it comes into, when it takes someone else into account, like a real person, I don't feel like that's right for me to share my thoughts on that and potentially sway someone else to thinking that way. Again, let's fully agree here. There aren't, you know, we don't have many people watching. It's not like this is a powerful place and people see me with authoritative power that they're gonna think, oh, Oliver sees it that way. Actually, you know, he might be right. Which I guess goes in, it's a bit of a ramble now, isn't it? But, which I guess goes into this whole idea I have. And I think it's true that People being in an elevated position, sorry, people with some sort of power on social media, and by power, I mean perceived power, which is just number of followers, number of likes, number of videos, however long, something like that. Then people automatically see that that person has some level of power and something behind them. And I, I purely want what I'm saying to be just my opinion based on the way, the information that I've experienced and the way that I receive that information. It's like, consider your mind and my mind and everyone else's minds to be different types of like sieves or colanders. They will have different size holes, different shapes of holes, so that when any kind of information is poured into that sieve or that colander, depending on the, the type of sieve or colander you have, you receive that information differently. And those holes in that colander are defined by our previous experiences in life and the way that we're able to process information. So what I'm saying is, I don't want someone with different experiences in their life, because mine may not be the right ones, to, to look at what I'm saying and saying, that is the right way to say it, because of what if I've said something bad about another person? Seven fifty-three Monday morning, it's quite deep. <laughs> uh, so yeah, maybe in the next video you'll see, so today's Monday and you'll see this Tuesday, I will go back and watch the video and share my thoughts more on a, like, react to it. Because I'm, I'm so, I was so invested in the Casey Neistat vlog days, they were so captivating and entertaining. And I just remember wanting to watch them every day and that's the only person I've felt that way, seems so weird about watching their videos every single day. Uh, and so I, f I feel like there's a weird, you know, connection, even though I know it's through online. Uh, yeah, it's a strange feeling. But um, that's kind of the world we live in now, isn't it? So yes, I maybe you'll see it in the next video we react to it, but I'll react to it in more of a less of my opinion on him, less analyzing him. All right, well, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, see you, see you Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, see you Tuesday. Oh, what what's that over there? Did you, oh, something over there as well? What, oh my, what, am I looking behind me? Oh. Oh, what's that? Okay, nothing. <laughs> uh, couldn't tell. I just got a haircut. Rugi got one too. 
he looks top notch. You know, I said I was going to plan out the uh, obsidian shaving video. But I don't think we'll do that because that's a video I just shaved last night or this morning, stupidly. But with my parents here, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if my dad would like to see the whole process. And if he does, then we'll use that video to plan this all out with. And I think we could make that a couple of parts. We could make it like finding how to cut the obsidian into a blade and seeing how sharp it is, and then using that to follow on to use it into a shaving video. Hmm. I could have planned that. And I've been thinking, like I want to edit some more clips because I, I want the clips to keep going out while I'm not producing videos. I'm not making any content. And I was thinking, yeah, but that seems, that's not right because this is meant to be about my, like the things I do as a TikTok creator and like those stories. But I, I just now realized that, that, that actually, like why am I doing YouTube to begin with? It's because I feel like the stories will mean a lot more if people understand who I am from the YouTube videos. And so my goal is to grow this. And so it's all part of this ecosystem that I'm building versus these two like pieces that are in silos. So they're working together symbiotically. I don't even know if that's the right way of saying it. So I thought, what am I doing? Okay, let's just take him. So I found the clip of Will Ferrell and he goes sneaker shop, sneaker shopping. I'm thinking, Oliver, why would you use that video? Because he's a big name. He's a big boy. He's cool. I actually quite like his stuff. And so I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you how I'm going to take this video and where my mind's going in terms of what could come out of it as a clip and why. So, we're going to do a lot of scrubbing here. Oh my god, incredible. And they're all mine. Oh. Yeah, that's a great shot. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a clip in mind. I'm just going to add a spacer. What, they're not? Oh. I think that would be. What? They're not? And then a spacer because it goes to the next clip. These are beautiful. I could dominate in these. I could jump higher. I could run faster. I could swim longer in these. Hey, Will, you ready to do this? These are beautiful. This is a, a good clip for me to put something over the top, maybe. Hey, Will, you ready to do this? Joe LaPuma! Is that you? It's me. <sighs> I'm gonna wet my pants. You're not. I'm gonna wet my pants. I'm gonna wet. I'm gonna wet my pants. You're not, it really is you. It's not AI. Let's go shopping. I think I'm gonna wet my pants would just be a reaction to something I say. I guess what I'm looking for is the first part of the clip to be something from this. Because otherwise, I feel like that's much more of an impactful first shot to keep someone watching than to have my clip and then like some kind of reaction part to it. I think if I'm going to have a reaction part, there needs to be something before. Obviously, there needs to be a, a clip of, like, in this case, Will coming in before. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with actor, comedian, writer, and producer, and all around Hollywood legend, Will Ferrell. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Joe. So, sorry if we freaked out earlier. That's okay. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Joe. So, sorry I freaked out earlier. That's okay. Yeah. All That's right. okay. Gonna do 
I always find these interviews awkward, these like complex videos awkward. Do some sneaker shopping today, gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Look. That could be a shot. Looking forward to it. Let's go. I guess what I'm doing is just piecing, just grabbing anything that I think could fit, whether I have an idea for it now or not. Will, I want to take it all the way back. Obviously, we're in like the Jordan 1 section. Right. When did sneakers start to matter for you? I think they always mattered. You know, even as a little kid, you know, we didn't have a, a, a ton of money growing up. Right. So you get your new... I think they always mattered. I, I think they always always mattered. You know, mm -hmm. even as a little kid, you know, we didn't have a, 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 a ton of money growing up, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Even as a little kid, you know, you know, we didn't have a, a, a ton of money growing up, right. so you get your new pair of shoes. Probably to start the school year off. Yes. It, right. So money growing up, so right. to start the school year off. Yes. And it, it became new pair of shoes. Probably to start the school year off. Yes. And it, it became that thing. I tried to keep my, my shoes looking as pristine for as oh, long as I could. You know, other kids would try to step, you know, do that, right? Yeah, right. And, uh, which was always. Are you defending them? So of course. Yes. I was punching other children <laughs> to, to keep them away from my sneakers. Right. Of course. Yes. I was punching. Yes. I was punching. So yes. I was punching. Yes. I was punch yeah. Brilliant clip. I was punching other children. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. Sneakers, right. right. Keep them away from my sneakers, right. right. No, I always love shoes, yeah. And then, like, fast forward to, you know, brief sport athlete in high school, university yeah. high, 6'3 center. It was right around the time of Jordan ones, but even Magic Bird, Converse ads. When you were playing basketball, do you remember any of that? I remember all of it. I remember that, you know, Magic and Bird, that was the Converse was really the big shoe. I always wore Adidas because I have a very narrow foot. Okay. Oh, okay. Got a narrow, skinny foot. All right. Very European, petite foot. Very European, narrow, narrow skinny foot. All right. Very European, petite. Very European, petite foot. Uh, and in petite. I don't think we need the foot bit. Foot. Uh, and uh, my, my, my foot smokes cigarettes. That's how you're. Okay. 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 Just chilling uh, outside the cafe. But, uh, exactly. <laughs> and then, but I remember that. Uh, yeah, it would have been 85, 86, right around the time. So, and then, but I remember. And then, but. And, and, but I remember that. Uh, yeah, it would have been 85, 86. It's right around the time. So my senior year in high school. right around the time so my senior year in high school and a lot of the high schools were getting samples of these new air jordans yeah. and and i literally had one of, yeah you had them yeah because we were playing basketball, playing basketball no but for basketball okay. and we got to order them and they were super cool but ours were our colors were white and but for basketball okay and we got to order them and they were super cool but ours were our colors were white white and navy blue okay and wearing a pair of jordans i averaged 1.2 points a game <laughs> I averaged one point. I averaged one point two points a game. I think. I don't know what to go in there. <laughs> okay. But I was captain of our team. I thought. Okay. But I was captain of our team. Our team. I thought. I was I... a lot of no, captain of our team. Nice. I thought. I, I was a lot of no. I was sixth man. A lot of hustle. Okay. Rebounding. Look, all the Cheer, intangible. cheering the guys, all the intangibles. Yes, maybe the not in the box score. Don't show up exactly. in the box score. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go to the second section. We gotta talk some low profile Adidas and some new bounce. Oh, I'm all about low profile. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Will, there's a special pair of sneakers that you kept throughout the years from the movie, an iconic scene. The, the I tell you what, there's a running theme of difficulty I'm finding with this. These the interview podcast style is that the person I'm really wanting to be at the beginning of the clip is the one being interviewed. Like, it doesn't really make sense if I have the complex dude at the front as much as it would make sense to have Will Ferrell, or at least that's what I want or don't want. The old school streaking yeah. sneakers. Right, the uh, You want them on Dan Patrick? The green Adidas, yeah. What made you keep those and such a special pair for you? Do you still have them? I just remember the, the costume designer on that movie was like, I think you need to keep these shoes. Okay. And uh, he was like, I think you need the costume designer on that movie. Was like, the co such a special pair for you. Do you still have them? I just remember the 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 costume designed these shoes. Okay. And 
They were <clears throat> kind of a wild design. And I mean, if you're going to run naked in a movie and the only article clothing on you, if you're going to if you're going to run naked in a movie and the only article of clothing on you are the shoes, you might as well hold on to them. The article of clothing on you are the shoes, you might as well hold on to them. Run naked in a movie and the only article of clothing on you are the shoes. Don't know. You might as well hold on to them. You put, you put them in the museum one day. You put them in the museum, exactly. You know? You put them in the museum one day. And then... We're in this section because I feel like, you know, you talked about Adidas back in the day, but even now we'll see you and you're like, low profile, sweet Adidas, classic Sambas, Gazelles, yeah. like Rod Labors, all kind of like in your What do you like about Adidas? I just love kind of the classic design mm -hmm. and the fact that they've started to play around with that, uh, with the color schemes. I also, it's funny, I used to run marathons and I did them all in the Kayanu. It's crazy because like, yeah, the gel Kayanu and Ray 6 mesh right, in general has been such a big trend. Okay. Off, so like, I was way ahead. Exactly. 20, my last marathon was 2003. Okay, see? So. A big trend. Okay. Off, so like, I was way ahead. Exactly. 20. My, Honestly, the juices aren't flowing right now. I'm not getting too much coming to me. But on a side note, I am starting to build out these green screen pieces, which I'll put in as cap cut templates. So like you can find them all under, let's say my account in cap cut. And like this one, absolutely trash. It is so bad. I forgot what would go under there. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best one there. I know I'm being quite cryptic. How do I look? I, I think I look... What do I want to do? Do I want to keep cutting this or do I want to go with a few that I saved this morning that I know I can turn into clips right now? Yeah, let's say because the juices aren't flowing on this. What a gross way to put it. Let's go with what I know I can do. Yes. All right, let me send a few over from my phone. Saved collections. All right, here we go. We've got four in here. We're watching closely here as this Chinese fighter jet intercepts. It's within a few meters of the wing. And then from here, I'd add in just like a stupid clip of me like green screened into the window of that fighter jet saying something stupid. How true it was when Plato said. What? And then I say something stupid. I've seen a million faces, but not this. I really felt it when Fyodor Dostoevsky said. And now I just find stupid shots. So. Green screen. Uh, if I can find the original of Best in the Morgue. What day was that? That was when I was sick, wasn't it? Don't remember when that was from. Let's see if I have it in CapCut already. Nice, you don't. Uh, where was it from? Like, I, f I feel like these, this section is quite hard for me to make entertaining with you watching it's quite slow I'm going back and forth between lots of things it's like I need to get everything together so I think it was 45 and then make the edits oops so it was 45 here we go How do I look? I, I think I faces. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. I think um, I've seen a million faces. How do I look? I but not 
one more beautiful than Rome. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. Yeah, so that'll be one clip. And then I need to find something stupid that I say to go after this and... How true it was when play... And then... I want to get a one of my intros. From here... Nature-worthy nautical... Hello, you gorgeous McMuffin. Hello, my rambunctious... Good. Welcome to the nip zucchini of Zuto. Buongiorno, Severus Snape. That'll do you, monkey. Let's throw that up into CapCut to get it green screened. Chrome. Editing, background remover. It's good that I've got a folder for that one link. I really like that. So I realized yesterday that the default for this is five seconds and you actually have to go in and edit <clears throat> a little bit to extend it and to update the volume. But that's going to fit in. Oh no, maybe I get another shot of the plane somewhere in here. Here, this is perfect. Brilliant, Oliver. The people are just gonna love that. Who wouldn't? All right, adjust the... Where's my edit button? Bon Where'd you go? There, there used to be an edit button up here. Well, that's a little bit frustrating, isn't it? Where'd you go? Oh, dingers, bro. Maybe I'll have to do it inside of... Yeah, like... Where is it? Is that okay? There we go. Snape Rooney's, you're looking very bonjourno. That's worked quite well, isn't it? Background. Smart tools, remove background. Brilliant. Okay, look, I guess we'll just smart tools, auto removal. Buongiorno. Cool, and then I just add in a color for the background. Export. Download, sure. And then we make a quick little tasty edit to get it on top of here. As if I'm like sat in the plane. I really should save this off somewhere else, shouldn't I? But I can't be bothered at the moment. And then I'm going to retime this so that it fits this length. And I also have to add. Optical flow so that it doesn't like stutter. Let me go green screen here. Yeah. I did. I replied. Oh, sorry. All right, let's move me into position. And try.
track it to the plane. Analyze. All right, let's see. Within a few meters of the wing. Buongiorno, Severus snape -roonies. You're looking very Severus-y today. Buongiorno, Severus. Why is it doubled? severus -y today. That'll do. So there's one clip, two clips, and then find something stupid that I've said. Um, I'm just trying to think of a video where I've said... where I don't make any sense. I feel like I just uploaded one into here. I don't know. Again, no juices for that one. So let's just drag these into, let's export them. Oh wait, here we go. Uh, where's the, what's the one I made? yesterday or the day before where I'm getting into my car. Like wanting to show the um, the gas station food. See, this is what I'm talking about where I want everything to be easily accessible. You have a I'll say this. I have a look. What? Ready. I don't think so. Darn it, dude. So I know which one I want because it is. Um... Right, I'm going to stop for right now because. I'm not making too much sense, so we'll pick back up when I'm in when I'm uh, at home getting stuff done. That one. When was that from? I think it was. Oh, my whole process is an absolute mess. It was. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna break this into here. How true it was when Plato said. I, I'm gonna stop for right now. <laughs> Beautiful, this one, let's get that zoomed in. Nice, that's done, that's done. Okay. Where should I store these? Oh, this is sickening. I don't want to do this, but it's going there. And then... Oh, done. Getting stuff done. Call that one Plato. Then we'll get over into CapCut. I think I did all of these last night, didn't I? Yes. I hate it when it does that. Um, I don't think I need, I'll just create a new one. Panic. So, where did I save these two clips? So we're gonna do a few things first. We'll go with 
text, excuse me, auto captions. We're almost done. I think I'm gonna we'll call it a day after this. So auto captions, then I changed the counts, didn't I? Ding Arunis. I need to save that text. Okay, so this needs to be a default. Save as preset. Don't know if that worked. Let's find out. Text presets. Oh, it did. So that will go over the top there. And then we'll do from but now I've got to go back and figure out what pod vlog they were from. I think this one was 46, wasn't it? Sound like flipping gap. No. Too much sense, so. 45. Oh man, what a painful process this is. Bad, isn't it? I'll show you the rest of it, then I'll just do this in solitude. <laughs> right, cut here. Right, so I'll have to update that. That let's update the text. I do love CapCut auto captions, especially that have all these templates built in. Wing. Make it that color. Here as this Chinese fighter jet intercepting the. Is that I don't think that worked, did it? That didn't work. I still don't really get how to edit. these captions. We're watching closely here as this Chinese fight. You can't even bloody read those, can you? intercepting the Canadian Armed Forces Aurora plane that we're on board. It's within a few meters of the wing. Buongiorno, Severus snape You're looking very severus -y today. I've seen a million faces, but not one more beautiful than Rome. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably... Well, that text is all off. Stupid. I've seen a million faces, but not one more beautiful than Rome. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd. I think they'd probably say I look the best. If I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best. Oh, I hate this. All right, I'm going to call it for a day, and I'll just do this. I'll just do this bit later, and get these done and uploaded. Okay. Well. It's the weekend tomorrow, and just remember, because because you obviously you won't make it through this period, but my parents will be here Tuesday evening next week, and they'll be here for about a week, so I won't be uploading any of these videos. So I think the last one you'll get maybe on Wednesday morning until after Christmas. So I was about to say, if I don't see you before Merry Christmas, but you've got a couple more days. You've got a couple more days of me, haven't you?
All right. All right. See, see you soon. Yep. Hope you enjoyed the weekend because you're watching this Monday. Yep. Okay. Bye.